the search registration information reports on Agri-Intel. Under the label information database, we have the search registration information. This section is possibly the most used section on the website and gives you more information than the download labels, but less information than the compare labels. So it is basically a point of call to find information quickly for a certain crop and target registration, and it will give you a line by line account. This video will basically just show you what information is available in the search registration information so that you can see if this report suits your requirements. To access the search registration information on our label information database section on our left, or if you're already in the label information database section, you can access the information on the top bars here, where a drop down will then come down and then you can then select your category. So we're going to do a search by category report. And again, our optional filter is available on all of our reports on Agri-Intel. Should you require to use an optional filter, you can just make the selections required and then it's important to click on the filter button in order to let that data pull through to the rest of the report. You do not have to use these optional filters. Going to search for all the fungicides in the database, we've now selected our search by category section and we can then select fungicide by going to the drop down list available and scrolling up and down or typing in fungicide in our search bar here. I will then click on fungicide and I will click on add and everything will move over to the right hand block that I've selected. However, I've incorrectly added growth regulator, so I'm going to click on growth regulator and then I'm going to click on remove and it will move back to the left hand block. Again, all your searches will be available here on the left hand side and what is available on the right hand side is what you will see in the report. Next, you'll have to filter further, so you need to do a refined search and you can do so by selecting any one of the below options there. Let's say we want to look at a specific active ingredient. So I've just selected active ingredient here and it's giving me all the fungicide options um, which are registered here under the active ingredient. Let's say you want to now look at methanoxin as an active ingredient. So I'm just going to be typing in the first three or four letters of the active and already the system will start pooling the, the data together that contains those few letters. Let's say we want to look at all the products that contain mephanoxin. We will then just click on add all and everything containing mephanoxin will move to the right hand block. We'll then click on submit and be able to see all the products which are registered containing mephanoxin that are fungicides. So now the first few columns again are exactly the same as all the reports on Agri-Intel. Please refer to the download labels video in order to obtain more information about these columns. The difference comes in now with the search registration information section where you have the same trade name being listed multiple times and that is due to, if we scroll a little bit to the right, um, the crop will use linking up to the target. So it's giving you a line by line account of the crop and the target that that particular product is registered on. What is also new to the search registration information section and not on the download labels are additional fields. So the crop or use group is giving you the broader group that that crop belongs to. So if you want to, let's say, look at all the citrus products available, you can filter on citrus and then see all the crops and all the targets linked to that. Next up, we have the application type. And here you're able to see how that product would need to be applied for that crop and target application. Next is the herbicide application stages. And as we have filtered in the fungicide, we are not unable to see this. Um, but basically you'd be able to see if you need to apply the product either pre-emergence or post-emergence to either the crop or the weed. Next we have the label indicates active crop and target. And these are basically reference points for your for your use. So in order for us to make the data a little bit more streamlined in the website, we do need to make sure that the information is uniform across the board. 
So if the label has indicated something for an active or proper use or a target, we've indicated in this field where an extrapolation has taken place. This will become more prevalent just now as an example. So here's just showing you the label indicates target if we've scrolled a little bit to the right. And again, we have our registration status column, which is just going to indicate should a product not be marketed on the website. Next, we have the label reference and the database reference. And as we receive labels from the registration holders, these are uploaded to the website immediately as the PDF. And that will have a reference number on it, which will then become the label reference. The database reference is making use of a reference number of the label that was used to capture the information on AgriIntel. And these two columns are important so that you can see when the database versus the PDF were uploaded or updated. And you should always consult the label before application. If we want to now see which of these products are registered on Beetroot, we can make use of the filters at the top. You can use as many filters as you require, but for this exercise, we're just going to click on the crop or use, make use of the sliding bar and access beetroot. The report has now filtered out the products which have got mephanoxin in it and have now been registered on beetroot. And this is available on all of our reports and also in the MRL section is the synonyms. So for the active ingredients in the crops, we've indicated a synonym should that, that have been applicable. So we may have captured it either as mephanoxin or metalaxyl M, but the system will pick it up. Um, whichever active ingredient that you, you choose for, you'll still be able to find um, the same results. The same applies with your crop or use where you've got a synonym um, available. And this is where the label indicates active and the crop will use become important because as we're working with a synonym here, the label is actually indicated as mephanoxin. And for the crop will use, it's indicated as garden beets or it's indicated as a, a root and tuber vegetable group, but we have extrapolated it out to beetroot. So this is always just a good reference point to see what the label is actually indicated, but you can always confirm it by opening the PDF of the label. Again, on our left-hand side, at the, in the front of the report, you'll be able to see the hazard classes. And the, just to note that the hazard classes key is available underneath every report that you open in the database. The hide show columns feature is handy if you do not want to see all the headings in the report and you want to streamline it a bit. All you'll need to do is select it there as per the download labels video that you can refer back to. If you'd like to then save your report, you can do so by either printing it, downloading it as a CSV or downloading it as a PDF. Please note that the information obtained from the website should be used for your own purposes and not be sent on or used in any third party program. You can then click on the back button to access the report if you want to then access another or do another search on the website. And it's important to use the clear all function in order to reset your search so that you can start with a fresh search. Please contact us should you have any further queries.